You know, when I arrived here in 2011, Stephanie and I were thrilled for the opportunity. So excited that we wanted to bring home some gear back to San Diego. But the team was coming off a 2-14 and 14 season, and you really couldn't find any gear. The team had been low. But now, you walk in a grocery store, you can find gear. You walk in a grocery store, you can see people wearing Luke Keekley's or Christian McCaffrey's or Cam Newton jerseys. And I know I was part of that culture change. But he was hard in the NFL and not to be taken lightly. I'm proud that I took over a 2-14 and 14 team and won back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back NFC division titles, South division titles. I want to reemphasize, I'm proud that I took over a 2-14 and 14 team and won back-to-back-to-back. See the emphasis, Juan? Three in a row, okay? Whether you define it by wins or losses or you define it by winning the division, to me that's three years in a row of consecutive winning, okay? So I want to make sure we're straight on that. I get tired of hearing, oh, they couldn't win three years in a row, two years in a row. No, we won three years in a row, so let's get that straight. And we were the first team in the NFC South to do it, so I'm pretty doggone proud of that, okay? I'm proud to, be, I'm proud to have been part of the 2015 NFC Championship team that represented the NFC in Super Bowl 50, and I'm proud to leave here the winningest Panthers head coach. Being a head coach is more than just the X's and O's. It's getting up in front of y'all, okay, and there's my southern twang I've gained in nine years. When there's controversy and adversity, and in nine years I've had my share, I've been the spokesperson each and every time something needed to be addressed. I know I handled those things, those difficult times with as much grace as I could, and a personal resolve to always do what is right and tell you guys the truth. I want to thank the players. Thank you to those guys for trusting in me. I've been blessed with many future Hall of Famers, as well as many men who took the opportunity in the league as a stepping stone in life. Being a head coach is more than disseminating 3-4 or 4-3 defenses. Being a head coach is about being a leader of men <coughs> in good times and in bad. So your trust in me as your head coach has never wavered, and I thank you guys for that.